Hey, what's going on, y'all? RJ here with CV Tech, and today I am reviewing the Motorola Moto E4 and the Motorola Moto G4 Play. Both of these here are on the Verizon network, as you see there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in with this comparison here on both of these devices. Now, first thing we're gonna go, we're gonna get into is CPU Z. And we're gonna look at what we're running with here. Now on the Moto E4, we are running the 1.4 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon 427. Has an Adreno 308 GPU. Uh, scroll over here. And we'll see we have a five inch 720p display with 295 pixels per inch with two gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of onboard storage with around 10 gigabytes out of the box. Now over here on the G4 Play, we have the one. We are running the 1.2 gigahertz uh, quad-core Snapdragon 410 with an Adreno 306 GPU. Uh, we got a five-inch display as well at 720p, at 295 pixels per inch with two gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of onboard storage with, with almost 11 gigabytes out of the box. Now, even the both of these phones here rock the same 720p display. The E4 has a better display. Just, it don't look as washed out as the G4 Play and everything else. So let's go ahead and go back home here. We will look at Geekbench 4 and just see what kind of scores we did come up with here. So let's go into history on both. And we'll look at these here. Now on the E4, we got 647 single score, 1835 multi-core score, and on the G4, Play 506 and 1309 on multi core score. Looking down right here, we are running Android 7.1.1 on the E4 and 6.0.1 here on the G4 Play. So we'll back out of here now. An N22 benchmark now, these here are just rough estimates, uh, but 37,169 on the E4 and 27,245 on the G4 Play. So you get right at 10,000. Uh, more points on the E4 just by having the 427 um, processor versus the 410 processor here on the G4 Play. So let's go home here. We'll clear everything out. And we'll start right in with this comparison starting now. So that's the E4. Go into YouTube. And there was a problem with the network that was the E4. Uh, let's go into calculator. That's about the same. Let's go into calendar. That's identical the same. Go into the clock. That was the E4. Let's go in Google Plus. That was the E4. Let's go into the camera. I think that was the E4, but that was very close. Now let's go into IMDB. Very close there. Whoa, that's just right at identical. I couldn't even tell the difference there. Uh, let's go into Instagram. That was the E4. Uh, let's go into the Play Store. That was pretty close couldn't really tell there either uh, sitting so both of these here are putting out pretty well right now uh, on both of these tests here on on this test on both of these devices here that was the G4 play uh, let's go into Twitter that was the E4 let's go into Periscope that was just barely the E4 let's go into Temple Run 2 so a little bit closer here than I was, you know, uh, thinking uh, on these two phones here. Uh, like I said, benchmark scores don't mean anything. They're, I just, you know, they they're just tests that you run and kind of gives you an idea. But as you see, the uh, G4 Play is just you know, slightly behind on a lot of these uh, apps, and even this game right here, it was just slightly behind on. So go ahead and go back home here, and let's go into Subway Surfer. Basically, all you're really gaining on the on the Verizon model is you're gaining a front-facing flash, and you are getting a slightly bigger processor from a 410 to a 427. The RAM is the same, the ROM is the same, and, and the screen just does look it, the screen does look better here uh, on the E4 
and you of course you do get a slightly faster processor so it does process games faster um, and in a lot of apps it does open up faster but if you like if you sit here and play both of these games here you're not going to see really any difference in gameplay both of them are going to play about the same now as far as heavier gameplay i really can't tell you that because i've not really played any heavy games on this device as of yet so we'll go ahead and go back home here and we'll do one more game we'll go into crossy road both of these here are running the stock launcher that it came with so it did start at first there on the g4 play so that was pretty nice we'll see which one takes over the lead here uh once this game starts up we're just waiting 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 and it looks like that it started at first like there on the g on the e4 uh, even though it started at first on the G4, it's going to end up finishing up here first on the E4. Yep, as we see right there, we're already hopping along through there. And now we are ready to go there. I've seen a little bit of glitch there on the G4 play. So, I mean, it's just one of those things. Now, it shows right there that the RAM is being used. So, we're going to go right ahead right now. And not sure what I pushed. Let's go back home. Get white it out there okay it kind of it kind of glitched out there for a second so let's go ahead and go into the recent apps here and we'll clear that out and it is glitching a little bit there as you see on the g4 play so it does that from time to time but you know both of them do have two gigabytes of ram which honestly in my opinion is plenty of ram for a budget device you know that's just my personal opinion i'm not really sure where the bible app went on there but we'll go ahead and just start off here with youtube and uh, I have a feeling that both of these are going to have to be reloaded on every app uh, just simply because, you know, the RAM management and as many apps as we have running in the background. So that was the E4 by a long shot, calculator, E4, calendar, E4, clock, E4 again, and Google Plus. E4. Well, let's go ahead and just skip a few here. We're going to IMDb. That was the G4 Play. Started up first there. Uh, let's go ahead and skip Instagram. Let's go into the Play Store. They were already open at the same time. Uh, go ahead and swipe away the camera and Instagram. And we'll, we'll go into Settings. That was the E4. Uh, let's go into Snapchat. The E4. Let's go to Twitter. I think I pushed Twitter first on the G4 Play, but still it would have won anyway because it was faster. So as you see here, it's kind of like one of those back and forth things between the G4 Play and the E4 and the E4 and the G4 Play. So it's kind of one of those things where, you know, they both run solid. They both run really well. Uh, it's just that you do get a better processor. Uh, I'm not going to run through all these games again. As you see, it's going to start up first here and win on the E4. So we'll just go ahead and back out of here and just uh, kind of look here and not sure what happened there. Uh, Subway Surfer, I accidentally pushed it by accident there. So we'll go ahead and just uh, ignore that and go into Crossy Roads. And are you ready to go here on the E4? So had to reload on the G4 play. So as you've seen it there, the clear winner, in my opinion, was definitely the E4. Uh, the G4 was, is still no slouch, though. Both of them do have the um, speaker in the front. Um, both of, They have the same 8-megapixel uh, camera uh, in the rear and the same 5-megapixel camera in the front. But you do get an LED flash in the front here, a slightly better screen, and you do get the fingerprint sensor down here at the bottom on the E4. So that was just my little comparison there between the Motorola Moto E4 and the Motorola Moto G4 Play, both on the Verizon network. Uh, if this was helpful and informative in any way, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so by hitting that subscribe button. Any questions you have, leave it down below, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Y'all have a good one, and we'll see y'all in the next video.